All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I have something new, something awesome to show you today. This is the Big Brother SC620 to the Little Brother SC608. These are super popular. This little one's sold like crazy. A lot of people bought them, and I've seen them all over YouTube. Um, guys using them out in the field now. Friends of mine have them, and they're just really nice because they're so portable, and you can use them in the field with a LiPo to charge your race batteries. Now, I have a R-Line tattoo battery sitting back here, a 1300 milliamp 4S battery, and you can charge these all day long on this little charger, so really nice. And also in that other video, I don't know if you watched it or not, but I show you how to make a little 12 volt DC converter that you can just plug into your power strip at your bench. That way you can use it right on your bench, or you have the option to do the LiPo out in the field. So uh, nine to 32 volts power here and I believe the same thing on this one as well oh, it looks like 9 to 30 so this one actually takes two more volts than that one but the cool thing about this one is is that this one will also do high voltage batteries which are getting really popular and most of the ESCs out there can't handle some high voltage uh, as long as you're in 20 amp and up range and the smart charger, 500 watts, 20 amps, is pretty amazing. Don't try to charge some of your smaller batteries on 20 amp. Make sure you read the C ratings and read the charge ratings that comes with each individual battery. But a lot of the same features are in this one as well, but we have a few more things that have been added to it. Uh, right on the side here, you see the same style XT60 port on both of these, but we have a few more options now. We have this same style uh, balance lead se section here and then we have the optional USB port and this is great because you can charge your phone in the field uh, or any USB devices and then you have your firmware link update right here so these guys do come out with firmware updates for these from time to time to fix issues and things uh, bugs along with the charger so it's really nice that ISDT updates their firmware on the charger so this is one of the first chargers i've had that i was able to continually keep the firmware updated and that's a super big plus for me um, because safety is important when you're charging um, these older style chargers like the one back here not so updatable they kind of stay the same and if something's wrong out of the factory with it you're going to keep that bug uh, as long as the charger's around so let's go ahead now let's go uh, take a little closer look at the menus inside the 620 and what it's capable of. Okay guys, now we're in the dark because I'm gonna show you this screen, but for fun of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in my LiPo back here and power it off the LiPo, just to show you that you can do that. And this is a 6S 2650, um, just for the demonstration here. Now, we have this jog wheel like I was showing you before. It has a very similar screen to the 608, the little brother to this one. Shows you all the same stuff on here. Your amperage, milliamp hours, and it also shows you all your cell voltage here up to six amp battery. Now I can go ahead and plug in my balance lead on the side. And if I wanted to really get fancy, I could use my balance charger. But for this one, I'm just gonna show you how it comes out of the box. Um, by the way, you can get these over at Hobby King. These are pretty awesome. You can charge up to six batteries at once in parallel, or you can charge a single battery. So I'm not going to get too technical about that, but when you're hooking these up, make sure you do the black on this side and the red on this side um, in conjunction with what you see here. Oops, accidentally pushed the button. Okay, now I'm going to plug in the battery. Okay, I'm going to go into the menu and I'm going to show you the task real quick before we start charging. Uh, get it to focus on the screen there for you. Now, you see this one, press that. You can do charge, discharge, or storage. So, pretty cool. I'm going to leave it on charge. I'm going to go down to battery. You can change the type of battery you're charging. You can charge high voltage, like I was telling you. Go up to that top menu there and select high voltage. If it's a high voltage, this is your standard LiPo just below that. Lion, LFAE, PB, and your nickel metal batteries. Now, like I said, it does not come with any kind of power lead on here or um, leads for charging your batteries. So, guys, if you're new to this, you want to order some XT60 adapters, uh, or you don't have to. If you already have XT60s on your batteries, you can do one at a time. No big deal there. Now, we'll go down to cells here, 
and I can change the different cells in the battery. Uh, and I can charge a 1S if I want, or I can go up to 6S. We're gonna leave it on four, because that's what we have here, this R-Line tattoo. And I'm gonna leave it on two amp here. You can change the amp, and you can go way, way up with this one. Like I said, um, you can get really, really heavy with this amperage on this charger. However, I like to charge my batteries and it's not safe by the way to charge some of these 4s batteries at like 20 amps so you don't want to do that and i'm going to leave it at 2 amp here because it's going to actually extend the battery life of my battery um, so that's going to it's going to last me much longer some of my lipos i've had for five six years and they still they still perform pretty decent um, if you don't abuse them in the charge uh, setting or or out in the field by running them super super low so let's go ahead and press the button to start and then we should come up to this voltage screen hopefully it doesn't give me any kind of weird error now we can see the amps going into the battery into the cells and how much we've added also the percentage rate of charge 99 percent almost done so you'll get to see it there goes my cell phone. I'm just going to turn off the ringer for a second. Okay, continue the video. Now, hopefully it'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. You have also up top here, you have an elapsed time. And I can click on this wheel during the charge, and I can go in here and stop something. And I can also change the amperage in the middle of the charge. So that's something new to me. I haven't been able to do that before. I don't believe my Quattro does that. And I can go back out to that main charge menu. And as the charge completes the cycle and balances all the cells, this will start to go down in value. And it'll just top it off as it gets really close to the end. And this battery was pretty much fully charged when I picked it up. But this is a good one for the example. Now what I'll do next, just for fun for you guys, is I'll weigh this one and I'll weigh the 608 side by side here and give you how much they weigh in grams. Some of you guys are traveling and you want to limit your travel uh, weight in the airport. If I was going to go in the airport, I'd probably go on a trip. I'd probably take this little one with me. The 608 is super portable. Uh, pretty amazing. And then bring along a, a big LiPo with me. And if you bring your adapter along with you, your, your 12 volt adapter, you can charge up your big battery uh, when that one gets low on a trip. So pretty cool to have that little 12 volt AC adapter with you. So now it's counting down there, getting a little lower. And it should finish up in just a second. Now, like I said, I'll go ahead and take my roller and I'll do some measurements for you guys. And the 620 is coming in at four and a half inches wide by five inches, I believe, in height. So four and a half by five on the 620 and the smaller little brother is almost a little bigger than a business card, uh, three, almost 3.5 long by two and a quarter wide so pretty small for the 608 so i'm going to go ahead now and do the weights on these and i'm going to let you have a little more information about these before we end this video uh, i'll start out with the 620 and i'm on grams right now on the scale and 279 grams that's about 0.6 pounds uh, just over a half pound for the 620 not bad and the 608 coming in at 108 grams, not bad. Less than half the weight of the 620 is the uh, 608, super cool. Now, one other thing, um, for the 620 and for the 608, the ports on the side for charging your batteries, if you're new to this, this is pretty important. When you start ordering some leads for it, make sure you don't order a lead like this um, because it has banana plugs on the end and these chargers don't accept this. This is what we normally use with um, standard style chargers. Uh, this one in particular, you need a male version, or excuse me, female version end of the XT60 that will plug into here. Now this balance board that I showed you earlier, it comes with that style end on it and you can just plug it right in. 
and you can start doing your charging here with this. Um, you'll start over here nearest to where the power comes in and go down and that's the way we usually do it uh, and you'll see 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S and 6S balance ports and you'll start with your main port here and you'll do your balance plug and then you do this one you'll go on this side this side and this side just like that and then don't forget to plug in your balance port here as well but a nice way to charge out in the field or at home on the bench it really lightens the load for most of the charging that I do and it's really really nice uh, also I like the fact that it does come with that USB port on the side here I can charge my iPhone in the field or any Android style phone uh, with any standard USB it charges 2.1 amp by the way uh, 5 volt connector so pretty cool I like the 620 uh, 500 watts at 20 amp is pretty amazing for the size and included with all the different features but if you want to grab one of those if you didn't already get the 608 be sure to grab one of those because that's a decent charger and super duper small uh, but this has been the big brother the SC620 you can check out the link below thanks again for watching I'm Justin Davis I'll see you on the next one